logic. Follow me carefully. Dating started about at least about 200 years ago. During the last 200 years, dating is framed on a philosophical underpinning called romanticism, which says, don't think, just act. Don't reason, don't be logical. Be sporadic and spontaneous. If you study carefully the literature, I will tell you, writers such as Rossio lamented that Western civilization had fallen into error of exalting reason about feeling. This was the argument. Why is the world thinking instead of just acting? So based on this, there was a proposal that making decisions must be based on emotions rather than intellect. Hence the new dating culture. If you study the Bible, if I were to have time, the Bible's way of getting married from the Hebrew society was mate selection. Families usually arrange marriages, as we are going to study today. Uh, uh, every culture may have its way. In the New Testament, you notice in the Roman society, you have mate selection usually arranged by families. Example, Mary was betrothed to Joseph. Be it as it may, there is a functional difficulty with our dating habit. Hence, I say, fixing flawed family foundations. All the young people are looking for, they want the right spouse. They want the right man. They want the right woman. But the dating culture that is based on, or the philosophical underpinning of romanticism, is not helping do the right thing. And it leads to a lot of immorality. Let me give you an example. By 1950s, a new morality had arrived in the world. And with it came a jump from the ditch of uh, this foolishness to permissiveness. Then you see today, we see the resultant. Society flounts sex in everything. The effects are far-reaching that a return to modesty would almost instantly collapse every economy of the world. Sports is run on sex. Entertainment is run on sex. Everything is around sex. If you want it to sell, you must polish it around sex. So sex sells. And the concept of sex we see today originated from the theory of romanticism which exalts emotion above logic, above reason. And today, sadly, the young people in, in the Christian church are susceptible to its bewitching influence. It is in this slide the Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, they should ask God. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Let me make a bold statement today. God owes it not a responsibility to direct you to the right spouse until you acknowledge him. Look at the text again. In all your ways, including your boyfriend's way, your girlfriend's way, acknowledge him. How will God direct your path? What's the condition, precedent, to God directing your path? You must acknowledge him, not in many ways, in all ways. Then you have given him the seat, then he can direct your path. 